Hey, what's up everybody? Esam here bringing you another video. This one going to be about what I think the rankings are currently shaping up to be in terms of the top 10 in the world. Of course, Golden Week just finished, so we have a lot of new results there, both from NA and Japan, because NA was in Japan. Uh, and I just wanted to talk about what I think the rankings are. If you're going to talk about the drama of like, oh my god, Japan is better. I already have a video about that. It'll be up in the card above why I think Japan is better. Spoilers, it's because of trains. And um, also, they like grinding and playing whatever characters they want, and then they make the good, the bad characters work. Like, we have people saying Banjo's a good character now because of Tori Guri. Like, that's happening. Um, and also, people are like, oh my god, there were six DKs. DK was slept on. It's like, no, people are just playing the characters they like, and every character in Ultimate is scary. Someone has to be a mid-tier. Someone has to be mid-tier, okay? Just remember that. But anyway, I wanted to talk about the rankings of players, starting off with, I think, the obvious one and two are Akola and Mia. Cola has literally only lost one tournament and honestly two sets, this, sorry, three sets this whole year, one to Mia and two to Hurt. Uh, two, the two to Hurt were coming off the back of, what was it? Uh, Kageribi number 12, which was the biggest tournament in Japan, or this, you know, entire season, Kageribi number 12 was the biggest by quite a margin over Genesis X, uh, and, you know, Akola lost twice to Hurt getting third, but then one Delta number 8, one SP, Umabura SP 10, and then a bunch of other tournaments uh, that he entered, which are like B plus and A tier tournaments. Actually, were there A tier tournaments? Let me double check. Yeah, so Akola has basically won B plus and B tier tournaments, but then has also got first at uh, Delta number 8, a P tier, first at Umabura SP10, a P tier, and then third at Kagani Mid number 12. So obviously, in my opinion, he's up there in terms of top two. The other top two being Mia, because Mia just won Kagadibi number 12 over Akola and Hurt. He just got second at Delta number eight, and then his, you know, resume overall has been insane this year when we really go to look at it, uh, you know, just going down to like all of his placements. So this year, or the season started with Delta number seven, which was a major that he won. Umabura SP10, a premier, he got second. Kaldu number nine, a major that he won. Genesis X didn't do great. But even then, like, he lost to good players. Uh, he lost to Raflo, who's, what, like, number two in EU at this point, and then uh, Zachary, and Zachary's probably going to be decently highly ranked. Then we have Sumovato SP5, a major, he got first. And then a major, in an Invitational, he got second. A major, he got seventh. A major, he got first. A major, he got first. A major, he got first. A premier, he got second. A premier, he got first. His resume is so ridiculous at the moment. He has entered more majors than any other player, I'm pretty sure, and he's won most of them. He's won literally more more than like 70% of the tournaments he's been to. He's only lost, what, one, two, three, four, five tournaments out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 majors he's gone to. So he's won seven of the 12 majors or better that he's gone to, which is absolutely insane. He's obviously going to be up there. Uh, in my opinion, the number three, it's actually, I know a lot of players would say Spargo or Sonics or something like that, uh, but I do think the number three player also stays in Japan, and that is going to be Hurt, who just got second at Kagedima number 12, just got ninth at Delta number eight. Um, I don't know, remember how we do it at Umebura SP10. Let me actually look. Umebura SP10, did he go? I don't think he went, actually. So that's interesting, but he also got fourth at Maisuma Ult 22, which was a major. He obviously won Battle of BC twice over Spargo, as well as getting wins on Doramigi and more players there. I don't remember. Third, at my Suma Grand Wars, which I think became a major, right? My Suma Grand Wars. Yeah, it became a major because of all the different players that got bonuses um, from how well they did at the Golden Week tournaments. Then he got ninth at Delta number eight, which is fine, but then third at a major, second at the bigger premiere. So in my opinion, he's super high up there. He's also basically only lost to really, really good players. So I do think Hurt is up there for number three. And from this point, I don't really know uh, the order, but I do think I want to go over some NA players right now. All right. Obviously, I think the top five players in NA at the current moment are uh, Sonics, who hasn't gone to that much, but has done very well at every tournament he's been to. I mean, second at Genesis, second at, uh, you know, the Luminosity Invitational. He uh, got second at Level of Expo, which again, I know wasn't a major, but whatever. Uh, I think he did pretty well at, I think it was like one or two other tournaments. Let me actually double check. Oh yeah, I forgot. Second at Luminosity makes moves. So like, he's the second place master right now, but he's only been to four events this year, because I think the coin box IRL was last season. 
Uh, but yeah, he's got second at everything. He's done very, very well uh, overall. Uh, and I do think this somewhere still puts him in the top five, probably. Again, like, if you're going to put a Cola in the top five before Golden Week, then you have to put Sonics up there. So yeah, he's done very consistently. I mean, lost to what? Zomba and Tweak and uh, Shattuck, who are all players that are up here, except for maybe Zomba. Zomba, of course, is carried by his Genesis X performance, but has done, like, relatively okay otherwise. Uh, I don't think he did particularly well at Collision. I know he got top eight. He got, I think, fifth at uh, Cirque du CFL, which I guess is pretty good. So maybe maybe Zomba is also up here. But I so saw it's like Sonics. You have Shattuck, I think, is an obvious contender up here. He got top eight at Genesis. He got second at Collision. He um, got ninth at Luminosity, makes big moves. He got uh, first at Cirque du CFL, third at the Invitational. First at the Luminosity Invitational, so like he's won more majors than any other NA player, but he just hasn't had that super major or premier win that Zomba has, that Tweak has up here, and then that Spargo has, which again, I still put Spargo and Tweak up here as well. Um, again, in some order, I don't really know. I'll try to order it at the end. But Tweak has done very well, of course. He got like fourth at Genesis, first at Luminosity makes big moves. I don't remember how he did a collision. I don't think it was good. I think he got like, what, like 13th or something? He got seventh at Luminosity Invitational. He got 17th at Collision. Uh, but I still think this is like good enough. He also got first at a B tier here, fourth at a B tier here. So pretty good results overall. Uh, I do think Tweak is somewhere in that conversation. And then the fifth player in NA, in my opinion, would be Light. Light, again, top eight at Genesis. He, uh, I think, top eight at Luminosity makes big moves. Did he? Yeah, he got, what? third fourth at collision fifth at collision so like overall he's been doing well uh, he actually did really poorly at Cirque to CFL I think he got like 17th I think he yeah he lost to shoe tone before shoe tone beat me so he got 17th um but then won the Invitational. um also won level up expo did pretty okay at the luminosity invitational as well he was in top eight winners I don't remember if he got fifth or fourth um but yeah he's been doing pretty well maybe Zomba's up there instead of one of those players I'm not 100% sure I don't know how like it balances out having like oh you did well at you did you know one a Premier, but then have been doing kind of okay other than that let me go down yeah 25th at Kage oh yeah I forgot he was at Golden Week oh my god I literally forgot even though I made a video about uh, Radukun that came out yesterday so yeah 13th at Delta number 8 at a Premier 25th at another Premier but he got 9th at Collision which was a super major 5th at Cirque to CFL 5th at the Levitational 1st at Genesis so I don't know if this is enough to have him be in top 10 I wouldn't be surprised if he was but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't so then that's 8 players currently right we have the 3 Japanese players I talked about and the 5 players in NA but then the other 2 players I want to talk about in Japan are probably going to be Shutone which I don't think that's a surprise to anyone right Shutone just is really good and really consistent 7th at Kage DB12 Premier 3rd at you know Delta 8 Premier 9th at Cirque to CFL 9th at Levitational ninth at Genesis, very consistent uh, season overall. He also got fifth at the uh, the original Umabura this year, which again premier tournament. Delta number seven was a major, so he got third at a major, fifth at a premier, third at a premier, seventh at a premier, ninth at a premier. That's the wrong one. Ninth at a premier, ninth at two majors. So like he's been doing really well. He also won game as game, which was I think a B plus tier. Yeah, B plus tier down there. So yeah, I mean shuton has been doing very very well. Uh, so I think that's a bit obvious. But then the other player I want to talk about, probably the biggest surprise of this. This whole thing is I think the last top 10 player at the moment is Tama P. Daifuku, the Bayo player from Japan who has been doing ridiculous. Let's look at this season, right? Second at Delta number seven, a major 49th at this premiere, not great, right? But third at a major, fourth at a, you know, B plus tier tournament. And then again, a fourth and a fifth at two different premiere tournaments with really, really good wins. Wins over Shutone, wins over, I don't remember who else to be honest, actually so that's my bad uh, but yeah he has really really good wins overall he's very consistent and uh, the 49th is obviously not great but I don't know how much that is going to affect his second at major fourth and fifth at premier like overall a very consistent player uh, and I think he's somewhere in the top 10 and I could be wrong about that right there might be another Japanese player that actually sneaks up there it might be Zamba up there but I do think that the current top three in the world. I would say probably number one is Mia, even though he has some worse losses, he definitely has better uh, other results. Number two is Akola, number three is Hurt. I would have to say number four, at my opinion, is still currently Sonics, because it doesn't have a bad part on his resume, and I think with the remaining tournaments in NA, especially like Gommel, he'll probably do well there. 
um, you know, even if he gets second, right, even if he doesn't win a major or super major or whatever, I still think that's going to be very much good for him. For the next three, I legitimately don't know the order of Tweak, Shattuck, and Spargo. I'm assuming Spargo is probably going to be the lowest of these just because he has multiple bad placements at the Golden Week in Japan. I mean, bad, right? 17th and like 25th or something like that. So still good, right? But he won Collision. He got third at Genesis. Like, obviously, he's had a very good resume. So I'm going to put uh, probably Shattuck next at uh, number five, then Tweak at number six then Spargo at number seven uh is what I feel like at the moment again Spargo obviously could be anywhere as high as like four in people's opinion especially if it like wins Gommel um but I do think his you know subpar golden week really affects that then at number uh you know maybe maybe shoe tones higher than Spargo as well maybe Spargo's like eight or seven somewhere Sp shoe tones next or maybe like in that clump with those players and then uh number nine and ten I think are going to be light and then Tama P at number ten also Snow's been doing really well Dadukun's been doing really well so there's so many players that have been doing absolutely fantastic. Ultimate is, in my opinion, in a really good spot in terms of the top player competitions. Uh, again, if you want to talk about, oh my god, like, NA is so much worse than Japan, I have, I literally have already a video about that, you can check it out. And, yeah, thank you all for watching. As always, social media, stride and partner stuff is down below. Sign up for Stride GG, buy their merch, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.